COVID-19 has changed the way we think about our health and our health care. These are really stressful times, I probably don't have to tell you. And for women dealing with infertility, they're the added concerns. But my next guest says that there are things that women can do. Cholen Moy is the author of Will I Ever Get Pregnant? The Smart Woman's Guide to Getting Over 40 and it's out this fall. She's also an alternative and East Asian medicine practitioner and the founder of Integrative Healing Arts located in Union Square. And Cholin joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this is really a problem. Is it just with women over 40? Or are you seeing cases of women in their 30s also experiencing this? Oh, I, I see a lot more women in their 30s that are experiencing infertility or we'll say like challenges to getting pregnant. And um, one of the, the biggest uh, influencers or disruptors is stress because uh, stress for women, it feeds off each other. And, and studies show that the horm stress hormones are the biggest risk, uh, disruptor of reproductive hormones and, and yeah especially during this COVID-19 uh, experience but was it even pre-COVID-19 that you saw this yes even uh, pre-COVID-19 I started to see a trend uh, you know like 18 years ago when I started women were late 30s you know got married later that's that's still the case mm -hmm. uh, but now it's really 30 31 32 uh, that there's really there's the urgency and uh, they're finding that their hormone levels are really fluctuating and, and so I'm seeing that you also say that stress can affect a uh, woman's psycho uh, libido, mood, sleep, digestion, and mental health. But then you also offer some tips for women to keep in mind to improve their fertility health. You start out with focus on overall health, get a good night's rest, eat well, and exercise. Absolutely. Um, so focusing on overall, especially now, uh, we really need to feel, and this applies we really need to feel uh, like we have some control over our circumstances. And one of the things to, to look at, which is very important, is the sleep. The same part of the brain that regulates the sleep cycle is also the same part that regulates reproductive hormones. So if you're not sleeping well, it's definitely right. uh, having an effect on hormones. What about limit time on social media and electronics? How does that factor into infertility? Well, uh, we, we consume so much of electronics, we get triggered by what we're, we're um, reading mm. and listening to, and that creates more anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, and just like the, we, we do everything on our electronics. And so with, we need to have that break to just calm our brains down. Otherwise, we just cycle. Um, practice gratitude, you talk about. Absolutely. Research shows that the brain chemistry changes to uh, feelings of well-being when we recognize the things that we are grateful for. And it doesn't have to be something big. It could be, I'm grateful that the sun came out. It really shifts the energy. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to get out of anxiety and worry is to really be able to focus on things that we can say, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. And you also talk about create a fertility mindset. Is that just telling yourself, I am going to get pregnant? Um, actually, no. It's the, the fertility mindset, which I work with with my patients, is really to identify some of the negative talk that, in particular, women you know, talk about mm. that, oh, my eggs are no good, or oh, wow. you know, like all of that stuff, and to then write down something else that's empowering. That every, and using those things that we're focusing on overall health is mm -hmm. that I'm getting healthier every day. Like th those things are the evidence that you are, um, uh, your fertility is being uh, right. secured. And right? then, so it's really to interfere with the fear talk. And then lastly, you say try natural alternatives like essential oils, acupuncture, acupressure. Uh, the book is out. Um, on it's available now pre-order Kindle version will be available August 11th and then the book comes out uh, this fall will I ever get pregnant uh, Cholin where can people find you 
Um, they can find me on, uh, well, my website, which is uh, www.integrativehealingarts.com. Uh, I also am on Facebook under my name, and I also, uh, Cho Lin Moy. And uh, it, I have an Instagram. You're uh, all over. <laughs> <laughs> all on. I'm not too much on social media, but I do have some. <laughs> all right. That's fantastic. Thank you for the tips. I'm sure that you've helped out uh, a lot of ladies uh, this morning. Appreciate it. And guys. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh